In the slaughter process, electrical stunning of pigs is used to render them unconscious immediately prior to being bled out. Areas for concern include animal welfare, stress levels of the pig during handling, insensibility after stunning, prompt bleeding, meat quality, and worker safety. If the pig experiences severe, short-term stress before slaughter, a condition known as PSE, or pale, soft, exudative meat occurs in the carcass. Due to the spike in adrenaline resulting from stress, the meat becomes very pale with pronounced acidity and poor flavor. The occurrence of PSE is not only wasted meat, it is also a signal of poor animal welfare. Prevention of stress to the pig and thus PSE can be accomplished by allowing the pigs to rest for one hour before slaughter and be handled quietly prior to and during stunning. This video shows from the pig's eye view the process of moving the pig from the holding pen where they are rested up the chute and into the restraint box for stunning. There are two types of restraints, human and mechanical. Human restraint is usually assisted by a restraint box, such as this post-style box. In this style, the posts are placed so that the pig cannot escape or turn around, but the workers can still step in and out of the box. Once the pig is stunned, the posts can be removed to allow more working room. Another type of restraint box is a squeeze chute that similarly is small enough that the pig has limited movement. Some squeeze chutes use hydraulic power to control the width of the chute to accommodate different sized animals. Mechanical restraints include a double rail or V restrainer system where a conveyor belt is used to move the animals along the production line. In the double rail system, the pigs walk down an entrance ramp where a leg spreader bar prepares them for the conveyor belt that will support the belly and pick them up off their feet. Once the pig is on the conveyor belt, a shackle is attached to a hind leg and two rails gently support the sides of the animal. This is crucial because if the animal doesn't feel secure, it will become frightened and thrash around trying to escape. This thrashing can cause bruising to the meat, stress, and even halt the production line altogether. The V restrainer system uses a similar idea, except that the conveyor belts are placed on the sides of the animal in a V shape. From here, the restrainer moves them along the production line toward the st stunning area. As the pig approaches the stunning area, an insulated blinder should be in place over the pig's head so that it isn't able to see the other animals being stunned or the handler with the stunning wand. There are two types of stunning wands, head only and head to heart. For proper stunning, it is important that the equipment is in working order and positioned correctly. The pig should be splashed with water before stunning to ensure good conductivity. The head only wand has two prongs that are placed behind the ears close to the temples. An electric current passes through the animal's brain inducing a grand mal seizure, causing instant unconsciousness. However, even if stunned correctly, if the animal is not bled promptly, it can regain consciousness. Head-to-heart stunning involves placing one prong behind the pig's ear and the second on its side, passing an electrical current through the brain and the heart. Not only does it cause a grand mal seizure, it also induces cardiac arrest. Whichever type of wand is used, the electricity should be applied for at least 3 seconds with a current of no less than 1.25 amps. Lower amperage will not render the pig insensible and the animal will feel the shock and or a heart attack and will still be alive and need to be stunned again. However, excessive amperage can cause convulsions, burning of the skin, and difficult bleeding out. Hot wanding is another practice that should be avoided which involves energizing the wand before it is in full contact with the pig. In doing so, the pig will be able to feel the electrical shock, and a proper stun cannot be ensured. This objective scoring guideline shows the percentage of acceptable mistakes for each category. Inappropriate placement of the tongs can occur 6% of the time, 
An inaccurate stunning when the pig must be re-stunned may take place only 0.1% of the time. If scores range higher than this, it could result in a failed audit for the meat processing plant. Safety of the workers in the stunning area is extremely important. Any person operating the stunner should stand on an insulated mat wearing rubber boots and ensure that the working area is free of any water. The stunning wand in any other area the worker may lean against or touch needs to be well insulated and grounded. After a pig is stunned, it is essential to determine that the animal has been rendered insensible before continuing the slaughter process. Signs of insensibility include a floppy head, limp tongue, and the back hanging straight down with no writing response, which is a reflexive attempt by the animal to reorient itself to the ground. Kicking limbs and gasping is permissible, as they are a sign of a dying brain. To avoid the possibility of regaining consciousness, the pig should be bled within 15 to 30 seconds after insensibility has been established. Let's review the key points in proper stunning technique. Animal welfare is established through low stress levels of the pig during handling, insensibility after stunning, and prompt bleeding. Through good animal handling practices, the meat quality is ensured, leading to efficiency in meat packing plants. Proper education and well-maintained equipment promote worker safety, leading to further efficiency. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This, this little, little piggy, piggy had a beat. This little piggy had a microphone. I'm a pig. Good. You know it's true. Like every other animal in my crew. I'm good for pork chops and baby bag ribs. But I taste better with some fish to live. 2.4 square metric, I'll taste gross if you disrespect it. You don't want that, make me nice and fat. Knock me out and slip my throat fast. But turn up the juice on that electric shock. Make sure I'm unconscious and my meat will rock.